once in a while. Okay, yeah. so back in Nashville, I actually never left. Same day, different channel. You, oh, that's right, dude. Where did you get that shirt, oh, first of all? It was a gift from a friend, a childhood friend of mine. A good friend, yeah, apparently, because that's gold. Well, it didn't fit him anymore, apparently. <laughs> it was like, here, take it. I'm like, yes! Oh, dude, is that like a Rising Force tour? I mean, like, I think a, it's a, a eclipse. eclipse. Shut the front door. Yeah. It's got holes in he it. It's freaking I mean. terrifying. In more ways than one. I, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you ever seen those MI outtakes of him? Am I on it? Yeah. No. no. That, that, oh my god. Anyways, not to dog Angbei, because I, I I love Angbei, mm -hmm. but man, his R E H. Remember you did that R E H? Yes. They have outtakes of him. At M I? <laughs> no, no, they, they they had them. That's where I first saw it. Oh, oh okay. And then so they, they have that they released the outtakes of Is it on YouTube? Oh dude, it's freaking. If it's on YouTube, it's priceless, I'm going... bro. It's price. Yeah. Less, you have to see it. Anyways, we're back with RJ, and today, today, that didn't come out. Today, we're gonna do some rock, cause you yeah. can rock too. I love rock. Uh, that that one lick was freaking. Which one was it? The, the, the do, 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 where you go up the up the, the fast one. Yeah. 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 I mean, how do you get into that? Like, oh, so you you had a great video of is it Pachucci where you started showing how to pick up speed? What like you did some exercise? Yeah, it was just like a. What was my video? Three exercises to practice every day that help you with... Okay, so with everything, really. let's start with, with uh, that sort of... Oh, by the way, check his links down below. I'm just, I got ahead of myself. I got excited. Okay, so he's got links down below. His channel's freaking amazing. Check it out. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> um, speed exercises. What's, what, give, give me a couple of, of your, well, your I mean, possessions. There's exercises for left hand speed and right hand speed and okay let's can... do left hand first what's a le lefty man you... well i mean uh there's that old standby of um i think that's like a, a paul gilbert type right. thing okay, so i'm not slow do it slow though so it's this phrase so that's all legato yeah I'm just picking the first note. And that's the tricky part is, is getting that hammer on to get the same yeah, volume. Yeah, I mean, it's it's still awkward to me. Yeah. But, um... And then you could just move that... Up the scale. Uh, yeah, right? and I'm switching between, you know, one, three, and four uh -huh. fingers, and then up here it'd be one, two, and four. So yeah. it'd be good exercise just doing that slow. Right. It doesn't have to be picking the first note. You could just you could just up. Right. like have a coffee and just <laughs> <laughs> the Jason Becker thing. You ever yeah. see that when you used to like do the yo-yo? <laughs> it was amazing. There's so many videos. Right. Like, oh, dude, it's insult to injury because he's so freaking good or was so good anyways. But yeah. then he would do this solo and he was doing this ripping run and he he just had yeah. the yo-yo and I'm just like you bastard. So that's probably something that he just sat on the couch and was practicing. Totally. <laughs> Got the like cat in the mouth, whatever you call those moves. Like, <laughs> walk Anyways, the dog. so yeah, walk in the dog. That's what it is. Okay, so the one run, so that that that's good for legato. And then was the um, fast run? Was it picked or like that was, was all hammer on pull off? Okay, I so think what is that? So I'm like? using uh, just the top two strings, and I think we spoke about me only knowing those pentatonic positions okay. really good on those top strings. Yeah. So, so I'm using that shape. Okay. And then and then shifting it up to the next um, pentatonic position. Okay. And then up again. Do you slide up or is it like Yeah, that's the that that's what gives it the grease. Okay. The sauce. Right, right, right. right. So I'm hitting it like this. Okay. So the rhythm is like, so the, the last it's three quicker. notes are like ba -da -da, yeah. triplity. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so you're not, you're not picking when you go to the next no. string now. Well, uh, no, I'm only hitting that very first note that so you, slides. So you're physically onto the, onto the beat. Yeah, I never noticed and that. So that's why the first exercise I was yeah. talking about 
gives you that hammer on sure. strength. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like um, uh, do you know Sean Lane? Of course. Yeah, he would do like not pull offs, but almost like reverse hammer ons. Does that make sense? Have you seen so, him do that? He like explained. He's pulling the string. Physically? He almost like he gets this really, and I've only seen him do it on a couple of videos, but it's it's not pulling off. It's like he, he hammers on it in such a way it's it gets a fluidity to it. I don't oh, know I, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's like he's a, not really... sounds like a horn player. Right. Like, almost like Holdsworth. Yeah, exactly. Which is crazy. Okay, so slowly do the do the do the lick. <laughs> It's hard to do it slow yeah. with the, the, the sliding feel. Okay, so where would you throw that in? So let, let me play the track. Two, three, four. So I would start it with a, a, an anticipation. Yeah. Like an up. One, two, three, four. See, that's a trick. Yeah, because it's just A minor pentatonic. Yeah. Um, and a, what you can also do is go down. Oh, come which is, on. Um, is it How do I do this? So the slide okay, into it is going the other down, way. which is kind of awkward. Okay, let's try that. Two, three. And I think I copped that off of Steve Vai. I yeah, heard something. Yeah, it's it's very harsh, but like. So, do you, so you could start sliding up, but since you're descending... What's the, what's the pattern slowly? So I, I would start sliding up, uh -huh. and then slide down. And when you do it fast, it sounds yeah. quirky. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Okay, so let's, let's try it. Uh, one way going up. You don't have to do it right in a row, but like we'll go through I'll a couple times. Up. Yeah, yeah, mix it up with some other phrasing, right? Two, three. Four. Freely impersonation. Okay, so is that what he sounds like? I've never, yeah. it's strangely enough, I've never it's listened like to it in the old That business. vibe, it's very staccato. Okay, so uh, really slowly, you're, you're basically just, what's the. Okay. That's cool. Though. It's kind of know. almost a similar fashion where you're hitting the first note and then doing like a triplet. Yeah. Again. But you purposely cut it off yeah. after every. Instead of. Yeah. It's very sharp and staccato. Okay, so let's do, do some of that. That was, that was cool. I like that. Two, three, four. <laughs> triplets over like a straight you know rocker so it's like Freely. Okay. So I'm a big Kiss fan. So. I'm really seriously. So like, what's what's a cool song that like you can think of that does that kind of stuff? Like, what's a? Um, there's a song called "Watching You." Okay. If I remember correctly. Yeah. I mean that. Yeah. Like, right. That little. So you represent it into the rhythm. Yeah, in the riff. Oh, that's Not cool. Not just his solos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. All right, so, so 
Let's do uh, some other kind of timing phrasing because you were doing some, some cool stuff that way. And then you also sounded like you're playing to the key of each chord sometimes. Yeah, I mean, you know, when I'm playing a rock thing, I tend to just keep it simple and kind of stay on the pentatonic. But yeah. Sometimes I like to not necessarily jazz it up, but kind of make it a little more interesting. So yeah. I'll start thinking each chord and maybe outlining those chords. Okay, so let me do. Let me go through the chords, but then go through them slowly. Yeah. And then you can kind of really get them get okay. onto that frame of thinking. All right. So I'm just gonna play the chords real slow. So I would just think A minor. So that's the C major. tempo a little yeah. bit and then we'll we'll show two I'm not gonna count I'm just gonna Um, okay, so what, what was that? That was a... That was just like a passing note. Um, leading uh, note. Um, I guess, what is that? Harmonic minor-ish? Okay, so... It's just the flat... Um, the, the natural seven going to the, the one, the tonic. Oh, so in like a normal minor where, where where Yeah, yeah, exactly. It would be... Position two, right? Uh huh. But I instead of hitting the flat seven and raising it. Oh, interesting. And so, then what's the rest of that? It's just uh, an arpeggio that I'm doing. So that's, cool. so that's your arpeggio. Approaching it with the note below it and the note above it. Okay. So if that's my target note, before I hit that note, I'm yeah. gonna go one under, one above it. Okay. Right. And so did you sneak that in over the A chord or what? Where did? Where was that? Yes. Okay. So. Because to me that that particular uh, particular lick has this like resolution. Yeah. You know, it's yes. going home. Tension? Yeah. Yeah, oh, for sure. Really some time. No, that's okay. I, which I do a lot. Like, obviously, Ingve was a big influence right. as well. So, even over blues and stuff, I'll, I'll throw some of that stuff in. There. Let's try, let's go down that road for a second. <laughs> this is fun. Look, I'll do the progression same speed. I'll slow it down a little bit and you can. <laughs> How did you 
locked down with it. Like, what was, that? What was up with that? that was it's kind of the same pattern up here. Oh, I do that slow. What was the? So it's where, where are you at, like fret wise? The right, the top. Okay. Yeah. So I'm starting at the tenth position. Tenth fret. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, so it's that straight up minor yeah. ascending. And then I'll do the that lick. Okay. And then what did I do? I hit a triad. Ascending triad. Okay, so that's what chord is where that sounds cool. Oh right, this part of this. Okay, right? to the tonic oh that's amazing okay okay so let's just keep trying this because you keep throwing out <laughs> cool ideas all right so back to the back to the rhythm Step. So you're basically thinking C major. Right? Yeah. I'm and kind of you... turning it into a, a sus, sus sounding thing. What is it? Oh, okay, so it's up here. Right. Yeah. It's almost like I'm thinking the melody is going like. Oh, that's cool. And then I'm, I'm turning it into a double step. Oh, that's awesome. Do that, do that again. Got uh, this shape. That was cool. I got distracted. It was awesome. <laughs> I'll try it again. switching positions right right like I'll I'll do stuff where I'm like right. so you know, it's not very fluid but okay. I I can hear in my head yeah the where notes it's going I want to hit. yeah 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 no so. it's it's just rocking come on <laughs> give yourself a little credit all right so here we go one more one more pass two three <laughs> All right, what was that? 
All right, that's my little trick that I do. So I would take basically um, the notes of a chord. Let's say we're doing A minor. Okay. And I will target like the chord notes. Okay. But I'll play this motif over it. Okay, so, so I'm just, just hitting the half step below. Right. And you can play that all over the neck. How do people you know? come up with that stuff, dude? It's, it's really just like you're playing, I, yeah. you know, the chord, right? And then, in, you know, instead of hitting each individual note, you're kind of like, right? Um, but you're putting a little color on it. Yeah, well, in your ear, it gets the resolve it needs of the chord because you're playing the notes of the chord. But like, just that quick in yeah. and out is so. I, I, it's that um, little bit of tension. I've seen people do that with that. Sliding the chord, like I can't do it. Yeah, but right. people do it. But they'll do yeah, up a chord like that. Okay, so so it's uh So take let's do, let's do context. Minor. Okay, let's do the let's, yeah. Let's switch It's, you could do that over any chord and it really doesn't sound too outside it just sounds freaking cool <laughs> yeah because it's, it's that little bit you know that makes it sound more interesting yeah. than just playing like yeah exactly you know? okay so let's just, just pepper it in there whenever whenever it feels natural okay two three four So, man, that double stop thing's freaking killer too. I like it. You know, obviously, like we're both Hendrix nuts, but like, I don't do it that often in a hard rock setting. And it's like, wow, why the hell would I not do that? Because yeah. it sounds freaking great. And then, so moral of the story: we had the half step chord thing, mm -hmm. timing, right? Yeah. Um, and around. then playing to each chord. And then what we had one? Oh, and the, the shred leg on yeah. a telly. On a telly, which was hard. pressures on. Because <laughs> this is like. It's not seven and a quarter radius. Right, it's, it's not, not how it's, it's supposed to be. Yeah. Right. So is this is what you're telling me is you need a Jakey Lee guitar? Is that what is that? Oh yeah. We should go get it. That's you it. Want me to yeah. <laughs> well we'll do a, a momentary pause. I'm ready for this. <laughs> Ignore the uh the hum. This is a half step down, naturally, okay. because it's when you back metal. to your B flat. Yeah, I think. Wow, dude, check out that paint job, too. I don't know if the light will get it. Yeah, it's, it's called like, like pearl dude. white or something. And all the pickups are... Whoa, that's trippy. How does that sound with the... with the pickups tilted the other way? Well, I think the, uh, the science behind it is your bassier strings yeah your lower strings are a little more tacky yeah and then the higher strings are a little more mellow what a trip okay so you're a half step down on this so modify for a half step I told, i'll play in b flat you stay on a okay okay ready two three <laughs> Telly. <laughs> it's crazy. The pickups are a lot hotter, right? Dude, that's crazy. Isn't it funny how much how different, like how much easier guitars are to play than oh, other yeah. guitars? Like the shred guitars, like I forget because I don't have any anymore. And you go back to like a store and you grab an Ibanez and you're like, 
that's how I was able to yeah. do. Yeah. And the thing is, like, it it's uncomfortable to play a country licks on this too. Yeah. Right. It doesn't. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't. You know? Yeah. Exactly. It makes you wonder, like, guys like a. Uh, you ever Yuli Roth? You know that is. Yeah. How do you play licks like that on one of those freaking round? You know. Next, do that. Eric Johnson just... does it all the time. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. I forgot about that. Well, he's a freaking nature. Yeah, but his new guitars aren't. His new guitars are twelve. Oh, are they? Yeah, they the um the signature strats they flatten it out. Nice. Because mm -hmm. you because you have to. I mean, yeah. Right? It's a lot of you you got to make your life easier. <laughs> Put nines, tune it down a half step. Oh, those are nines yeah. too. Oh, dude. I see. I'm a I'm a total wuss anyway. I play nines all the time, anyways. But why fight it? Yeah. Do you are you a ten guy normally? I'm a ten normally. Uh huh. But. As I've gotten older, yeah. the nines are, sure are feel feeling nice. really good. <laughs> Tim, Tim Pierce is the same way. He's like, yeah, I put nines on my guitar the other day, and I was soloing was so much easier. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's what about the Gibbons? It's like, I played Billy's guitar one time, and it was like, let's see, let's see what is it? Eights? Eights tuned down to D. And it's the weirdest. That's you can weird. breathe on it, and it like freaking plays itself. Oh but it's weird because it's like, then you, you, you like the pressing and like it's the such thing, an adjustment. I think you just have to adjust your playing to that type of lower tension. Yeah. You know? Right. It's not that the tone sounds bad. It's that you have to adjust your playing to that. Right. Because obviously, I mean, he gets freaking wicked yeah. tone. Ingbe too. He plays eights too. Which is crazy because his tone is massive live. Yeah. Do you have any, <laughs> exactly. I remember going to a show at the Galaxy. You know what the Galaxy is down in, in, uh, in like the Newport Huntington area? Have you ever been there? Is that the, is there two? It's called like the observatory yes. now or something. Observatory, okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, typical Ingbe style wasn't, wasn't thinking that he was actually going to have the amps really on, but he had two, three stacks, Just full three? stacks, full stacks, right? But had a hush on, <laughs> right? So you couldn't, I mean, whisper quiet. And then he didn't turn, they didn't turn down the lights. So you're like sitting there with just your drink in your hand, like chilling, talking to your friend, and all of a sudden, just whoa! I was just like, whoa, whoa. dude! It was the loud. It was you had to it, change your oh, underwear. dude, <laughs> oh, dude! It was freaking crazy, but it was I, I can't believe that that guy can do those I've never licks. Seen him live. Oh my god, dude! Go it's see. ridiculous. Well, I mean, I've seen him walking around the damn show. Right, right. You have to watch out for the the pick to the face because in the front row, it's like he it might as well. Oh, does he like do a, the drop kicks? Oh, or drop kicks the whole with night. Boots, but like. He'll be ripping one of those runs and throw his guitar like 40 feet in the air, catch it, and then back into the woo! And it's just like, dude, how, <laughs> how does he do that? I don't know. He's a freaking angel. Anyways, so check out all of RJ's stuff down below. Again, he's got a killer Instagram too, so the lessons are freaking gold. You had a great Hendrix lesson, oh, by the way. And Thank then the, uh, the there was another one I really liked. It was um, the warm-up one's good, and then there was a... Um, Oh, I'll think of it. I'll post it below when I, my brain actually works again. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Well, we'll thank have you to do me. some uh, country since that's yeah. in your wheelhouse too. One Absolutely. of these days. All right, man. Thanks for watching. See ya.